I'm back! Okay, so I haven't made a video in forever. Let me just explain really quickly. Well, first of all, in August last year, or September, I don't know, it was like the first week of my semester, I dropped my computer on my foot, and so my toe was hurting for weeks, but that's not important because my computer was messed up and I couldn't use it for months, so I couldn't upload any edited videos. Then I got it back up and I was able to make that one video around December or January or whenever I posted it. So there were other problems with my computer and then iMovie wasn't showing up anymore and I couldn't download it. But I don't know, I got all figured it out. And yeah, I've missed being on YouTube. So since I haven't been on YouTube in a while, I was thinking that I should reintroduce myself. And what better way to do that than reread some of my old Tumblr text posts because those just really tell what's going on inside this brain of mine. I'm not sure why these text posts don't have like millions of notes, but yeah, so I got my computer over here, and let's see what's been going on in my mind. My friend was sleeping over, and she was annoyed that I was playing ukulele at 1 o'clock a.m. and playing loud music on YouTube. She said I should play something more soothing, so I went on YouTube and played some whale sounds. What a great friend I am. I just saw someone walking around college with a rolling backpack. Just no. Yeah, it's weird. There are so many people at my college that have rolling backpacks, like, all the time. It's really strange. Like, I hadn't seen them since I was in elementary school. And now they're just all over the place, making a comeback or something. I don't know. Why do people keep calling me with the wrong number and leaving messages? I clearly say, hi, this is Jada, on my voicemail. Obviously, I'm not the person you were looking for. This text post is titled, Torture. I just watched my cousin eat a slice of my pizza without asking me, and then he threw like half of it away because it wasn't warm enough and the toppings came off or something. That's just messed up. That, not cool, not cool. I guess I did this post in the beginning of one of my semesters. I said, My English teacher this semester is nice, but she looks like a ventriloquist puppet, and I feel like she has come to life to murder everyone. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think I have a talent for writing relatively good essays when I barely know any information about the topic. Sometimes I'll only know, like, three facts about the topic and somehow I'll come out with like a whole essay and I'll do well on it. I think someone's like sending signals to my brain telling me what to write because I don't even know what I'm writing but I'm like that sounds good and somehow I do well. I went to a Super Bowl party once. There was only one person there who actually liked football and he didn't even like any of the teams. I found out that all the episodes of Hannah Montana are on Netflix. I know how I'm spending my Friday. Sweet niblets. I wonder how low Kellen Quinn can sing. Those weird indie movies on Netflix that only like 10 people have seen are the best. I'm going to a concert five and a half hours away next month and my mom is being all annoying about it. Mom, do you remember that game, What Would You Do, that we played when you were little? Me. No. Mom, let's play it. Me. Oh, uh, I don't want to. Mom, come on. So, when you go to the concert, if a band asks you to go hang out at their hotel, what do you do? Me. They're going to be on tour buses. Mom. Well, what would you do if they asked you to hang out on their tour bus? Me. I would go. LOL. Mom. No! You know that one in three girls get raped. Me. They don't rape people. Mom. You don't know them. Blah, 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 blah. Me. I don't like this game. And then I put after that. I do know them though. She just doesn't understand. <laughs> if one of my favorite bands asked me to hang out with them, there is no way that I would say no. <laughs> Two girls were sitting behind me in class and talking. One of them mentioned that she had a twin brother, and the other girl asked if they were identical twins. I fell asleep on the couch at like 5.30 p.m. yesterday, and I got up at 8 a.m. today. My mom was in the shower and some lady kept knocking on the door. I thought that she was selling something, and I have no idea why I answered it. She walked straight into my house, sat on my couch, and started talking to me for like 15 minutes. She said my name a few times, so I knew that she knew who I was, but I had no idea who I was talking to. 
It turned out that she was just my mom's friend who showed up unannounced. Yeah, that was so strange. Like, some lady was just, like, in my house, and I'm like, who are you, mom? Can I have a shower? I don't know. There are strangers in my house. We were in the car once, and my friend asked why the speedometer goes up to 160 miles per hour. Like, when will we need to go that fast? It's not like we have high-speed chases every day. I just felt like I needed to speak in that voice for that one. What? Zac Efron didn't even sing in the first High School Musical? My whole life has been a lie. Yeah, that is still the most disappointing news I've ever heard. Well, technically he sang parts of it. I just figured out that I discovered All Time Low on Thursday, September 24th, 2009. A day that changed my life forever. Okay, lol, bye. I have a lot of lols in my text posts. You know you've seen a movie too many times when you can hum along to all the instrumental background music. And when I wrote that text post, I was definitely talking about Harry Potter. I hate when people say their abbreviations for band names out loud. Just say the name of the band. Yeah, I met this guy and I was talking to him about bands and stuff. And I was like, oh, what bands do you listen to? And he kept saying like all their abbreviations. Like, oh yeah, I listen to FIR and ATL and BMTH. And I'm just like, just say the band name. Like, it's better for writing so you can just write it out quickly. But when you're saying it out loud, just say the name of the band. I think that guys with man boobs should wear bikini tops at the beach too. I was babysitting last night and I was talking to the kids about Spongebob. At one point, I said that the first episode came out in 1998, which actually might have been 1999, but whatever. And one kid said, was it black and white then? My mom was trying to order a cat toy online and she accidentally ordered a bunch and spent $102 <laughs> worth of cat toys. I don't know if I didn't get enough sleep last night or something, but I found this hilarious. Now she's all mad at me for laughing at her for like five minutes. It's all right, we were able to send it back and get our money back, so. It's a great story now. There is literally a documentary on about documentary filmmakers. I have tan lines from the three different lengths of shorts I've been wearing this summer. My legs look like paint samples. Full House is pretty much a normal family, and then there's Uncle Joey, who isn't even anyone's uncle. He's just the weird guy who lives in their basement and likes to make cartoon character voices. Being able to tell what year a band photo was taken by their hairstyle is just one of my many talents. I'm trying to decide what side of a poster to put up. All Time Low is on one side and Yumi at 6 is on the other. I like All Time Low more, but the picture of Yumi at 6 is better. Ugh, tough life decisions. I wonder what music I would be listening to if the internet was never invented. I've found like almost all my music on the internet. I hate when people text me. I text them back like right away and then they don't reply for like three days. Like, where'd you go? You're the one who wanted to talk to me. I'm so glad that my class is over. The girl sitting next to me was the grossest pretzel eater I have ever seen slash heard. And she managed to make like 20 pretzels last for the whole hour and 15 minute long class. Yeah, she was like making all this noise and like just biting little pieces and it was like, it was like, it was like driving me insane. I'm like, stop, when are you going to be done eating this? And it just took the whole class, I remember. Oh my god. My mom says that Eminem hasn't aged because he never smiles, so he doesn't get any wrinkles. Today my sociology teacher was telling us that she seriously thinks that Nelson Mandela was cloned when he was in prison. When she said that, this one guy and I were both like, what? And she was like, you don't know what cloning is? And he was like, I know what cloning is, but what? This is the person who's been teaching me all semester. Sigh. People need to stop posting their disgusting food on Instagram. It's fine when you post like a nicely presented plate of food, but when people post like their half-eaten like macaroni and cheese mixed with like chicken nuggets and whatever, like I'm like, ew, that, that doesn't even look appetizing. Just, just eat it. You don't need to show everyone. <laughs> my mom and my best friend both say that they don't know all the lyrics to any songs. I don't understand how that's possible. Yeah, I still don't get that. Like, I said to my mom, you don't know the lyrics to even one song. She's like, well, I know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I was like, well, that doesn't count. My nail polish is chipping, and both of my grandparents asked me if wearing nail polish in just the center of your nails was a new style. 
yeah, that's what all the kids are doing. It's so cool. Yeah, see, I think that's how my nails are right now, too. My mom messed up my order at Chipotle. My day is ruined. If you guys get the chance, you should watch Twilight with the commentary on. It's literally two hours of Robert Pattinson making fun of the movie. It's amazing. My mom bought me a Lunchable. Yes, I'm 20. Don't judge me. OMG, the girl from Ridiculousness has the most annoying laugh ever. She sounds like a dolphin. That is true. She laughs like... <laughs> it's so annoying. Chanel East Coast? Chanel West Coast? Chanel West Coast? I think that's her name. <laughs> Ew, my stepdad got Instagram. Dear girl on Instagram, I've known you for eight years and I'm pretty sure that you don't listen to Nirvana. Please change your shirt. Looking at my old Facebook photos makes me question how I had friends in high school. I've been working here for three months now. I think it's time that I start learning more people's names. I've been working at this place for a year now and I still don't know a lot of people's names, so... But I know more than I did when I wrote this, so... I saw a guy who was like 60 wearing skinny jeans today. Like band member tight skinny jeans. Shout out to my biology teacher for letting us take a 10 question quiz and leave, giving us Panera bakery food, and canceling class on Friday. You're my new favorite teacher. I played Sleeping with Sirens for my grandma and asked her what she thought of it. She said, and then here are her quotes, That's a boy? He sounds like he doesn't like girls. He sounds like a teenage girl. He sounds like Taylor Swift. Then I started playing the songs where he was screaming. That was fun. Do you ever meet someone and then you start seeing them everywhere? I always wonder how many times I've passed by them and never even noticed. So maybe some of the people that will be really important in your life one day have already walked past you dozens of times and you haven't even said hi yet. That is deep. I'm just so deep. Like the ocean. I just found out that my friend's dad was close friends with River Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix, and their family when he was young. She said it all casually, but I was like, what? Okay, so my friend, our moms are friends, and then we are friends, so we're all out eating. Apparently my mom, I found out after I wrote this, my mom met them too, and I was like, did I ever meet them? Well, I didn't meet River Phoenix because he died two days before I was born, but apparently when I was a baby, I met Joaquin Phoenix, and then his sister is Summer and Rain. I'm like, why have you never told me about this? And she's like, I don't know. I thought I told you before. I'm like, no, you didn't. I would remember that. So yeah, apparently I met uh, some big famous actor when I was a baby. Maybe he was my babysitter and she's not telling me that. Who knows what else she hasn't told me. Girl on Fire was playing on my store radio. Then some guy passing by me was like, hey girl, you're on fire. <laughs> Oh my god. People who eat pizza with a knife and fork disgust me. Skipping my classes to go to a concert tomorrow? I've got my priorities straight. Okay, here's the last one. Today I found out that my stepdad's friend, who was like 25, is the brother of my lab partner from last semester. So yeah, those are my text posts, the most entertaining ones at least. And yeah, if you want to follow my Tumblr, I'll put a link in the description. You don't have to follow if you don't want to. Do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I hope you enjoyed this. And I am back, guys. I'm back making videos for you. So you will see a lot of this face this summer and so on in the future. Alright. Bye.